Bloomies are forever. Hello, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And today we are unboxing 22 thread up boxes. That's right, I bought every single box on the thread up website. So ThreadUp's going out of business now? You ThreadUp's all, going out of business. You bought all their inventory? These are the reject boxes or rescue boxes. So what happens is ThreadUp is an online consignment shop. People send in their second hand or never worn new with tag clothing. So okay. just clothing and right. shoes right. and accessories and purses. <laughs> what? Okay. What are accessories? Like scarves oh. and other things. So they send them and sometimes they price them out per piece where you can get like this shirt for $10. Sometimes they're like, yeah, this isn't good enough to be $10 or sometimes the $10 shirt sits there. Okay. So they put these in the reject boxes. Okay. They used to just be flat out called reject. Now they've rebranded it as rescue boxes. Because it's not PC. Probably, but they still call them reject boxes on the invoices. I caught that thread up. Hmm. So I bought every single kind. So if there was mixed clothing, size medium, bought one of those, mixed clothing, size large, bought one of those, 2X, 4X, whatever they had, including babies, shoes, fun boxes, I bought one. We, I think we have all of the boxes. It came to 22 boxes. And I had planned on doing this video in like jewelry together, these things together. But as they started to arrive, I quickly realized I'm just, we're just doing box. Well, plus you you don't know what's in the box. Exactly. So <laughs> I don't know to, why I thought I could organize We'd have to it. open them all, and yeah. we, we want that part for you folks to watch. I know. It'll be fun. ThreadUp is not one of my favorite companies. I used to use them. I've been using them for, since 2012. Loved them hardcore. Now they're not giving people as much as they used to, but honestly, they're getting tractor trailers full of stuff. So, of course, they're not going to give everybody $30 for their shirt. Um, at this point, I'm okay with ThreadUp. They're still not on my like top 10 favorite places to buy, but I wanted to try it again because it's been almost a year since we did this last one. So 2012, that's before we even moved, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been using them for a long time. Okay. And I send in stuff I can't sell and get some money back that way. But when you say you've been using them, you've, you've, been, you've sent your stuff and you haven't yeah. been purchasing from them Correct. that long. Correct. Okay. Okay, so the first box. We don't know what this is. And some of the boxes look open, and I think it's just how they were stacked. Some of them crushed in. Okay, so this is a baby box, right? Wouldn't you agree? Well, I don't think there's any actual babies in there, but... So let's take out everything. Oh, and there's tissue paper on the bottom. That's funny. Okay. So I have a spreadsheet, I made a spreadsheet, and this is the baby, toddler, boy, 15 items in zero to 12 months, so anything under a year, is $24. So you get 15 items for $24. That's pretty good. Okay, and this will be the only box of baby, boy, toddler? Correct. Okay. So we can hold them up. Okay. This is Carter's three months with a little fox. It looks like it's in excellent shape. I don't know what this is called. Three, three, six months. But is this old navy? But is this a onesie? It is a onesie. Now onesie is trademarked by the brand Gerber. Okay. So usually it's just a one piece. You can't use onesie on eBay without getting in trouble. Okay. But for the sake of this video, we're going to call it a onesie. Mm -hmm. It's a very soft, like blended material, wouldn't you say? I would say that. Yes. And I found the bottoms. Oh. Look at how cute the little stripes. They're like thermal. They're th like a waffle weave. Yes. <laughs> These are sneaking adorable. Okay. Oh, we have another one piece. Yes. Yeah. Who makes this it? This is Gerber. Gerber. And it is a six to four pounds. So newborn, NB. Oh, newborn, is newborn. Six, six to four pounds. Yes. So, so this is Gerber. So this we could call a onesie. So this might have fit me when I was born. No, there's no way. <laughs> okay. No, you were you were okay. already into like 12 months. Okay. This is baby gear. It's a pajama bottom in a light blue. Really nice condition. Mm -hmm. Everything looks new so far. And uh, this, I don't see a tag. Oh, here we go. This is a Carter's nine months and uh, it's very appropriate for the season as there is a football on the front of it. Very cute. You let me know if you see any stains. Oh. 
This is HB, I don't know that brand, three to six months. Gray and black, black striped onesie. Okay. Or one piece, as we say. Yes. I don't... Carter's, 12 months. This is like a little play romper. So cute. It's in like a really light chambray denim. This looks brand new. This is Just One For You by Carter's, and this is a six month and has some cars driven by dinosaurs, apparently. Oh my goodness, that's stinking adorable. Okay. We don't have kids. We've never had kids. We are glad not to have kids. Um, but seeing this stuff is just stinking cute. This is Rabbit Moon, six to nine months. It's a blue, <laughs> like a track suit top, like a track jacket. Yes. Mm -hmm. So funny with the racing stripes, like your baby's going to go mm -hmm. um, for a jog. This is a Rosie Pope baby 12-month pants with bananas and I'm not sure what the... Oh, just slices of bananas. Oh, yeah. Bananas and slices. That's the cutest thing we've come across. Gerber onesie. No, everything can't be the cutest thing. That's the cutest. Okay. You're the cutest. This is just truly like the most basic white onesie ever okay. look at the size of that though zero months very small yes <laughs> <clears throat> this is oshkosh bagosh 12 month and this would be a one piece as well and it's denim cute okay cloud island newborn size heathered gray pants <laughs> so funny oh and carter's 12 month shorts maybe Yes. Okay. Um, in a blue and white stripe. A, I don't see a, a... Oh, yeah. This has no branding. Yes. Unbranded. So 12 months, 100% cotton. This RN number, I could probably put it into a website and come up with the brand, but I don't think it's going to matter. It's corduroy. Yeah, it is corduroy. Mm -hmm. So how many pieces did we get? Because we're supposed to get 15. What One. do you got? Oh, you count yours, I'll count mine. Okay. Ten. Six. So we got 16. So we got one more piece and everything seems to be in great condition. Obviously I'm not pregnant, but for somebody who was pregnant or needed to supplement their child's wardrobe, I think for $24, even if the bins had this and they don't normally have nice things like this, like <laughs> clean, um, I think this is a good buy. Okay. So now how are you going to try to sell this? I'll probably list them as a lot. I okay. might do Macari, I might do eBay, or if somebody is interested in this lot as a whole or individual pieces, feel free to message me. I will sell them much cheaper. I'm not looking to make a profit necessarily, as I know this video will bring in some income for us. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll sell them however. So you're not you're not going to try to make any profit at all? Some of the pieces. Okay. The baby stuff's going to be hard. Like some of okay. these, to get a dollar or two, I'd be thrilled. Because okay. none of them have like... Yes. I understand. The baby stuff. Okay. Okay. We'll set that one aside all and right. grab the next one. All right. And this one has a packing slip. Interesting. This, I think this is the rescue box diy t-shirt box i would say do it yourself t-shirt is that what yeah. that stands for like t-shirts that have issues oh so use them for crafting i think oh okay so these aren't meant to be clothes i for... think this is the baby girl box okay wouldn't you say there's another uh, paper here yes yes i would say this is a baby girl box this yes. is the rescue box this is the toddler girl box okay, okay. what does your thing say that you should have 15 items 15 items okay. 24 dollars. so pick one out okay well this we'll start with this one mine is just one you by carter's newborn it's a dress or a top i don't know there's little birds on it oh my goodness this is a Fisher Price three to six months and it is a one piece and it has some very fun flowers on it. Yes, yeah, very fun. You can do that one. Okay. Brand new with tags. This one is Kohl's Baby Babambi or something. I don't know what that word is. Babon something. Medium. So this is three to six months and it has little teddy bears on it. 
This is Third Street, and it is three months. And for all of you Wisconsin fans out there, there we have a One Piece Wisconsin. Brand new with tags, too. Mm -hmm. Penny M, 12 month. Oh, look at the color on this. Mm. Little lime right. green. <laughs> so stinking cute. With embroidered flowers and a ruffle. Jimboree, zero to three months pink pants. With a, a little ruffle? With a little... Uh, monkey oh, on the bottom on now, the these these are not craft these are you know what i'm saying you initially said it's to make some these are to wear yeah that must have been some other box okay they just threw in invoices okay. i don't know all right this is the kids box okay carter's three months this is a onesie in like a pale pink and white mm -hmm. this is carter's three months and a pink pair of pants or yes sort of pink could be borderline peach. Yeah. Maybe have a matching outfit there. Okay. This is Cherokee, which I think is Walmart. Zero to three months. And it is a dress, oh, brand new with tags. With a keyhole in the back. Oh. Look how tiny. This is Juicy Couture. And this is three to six months. A one piece has Juicy Love on the front. Juicy Couture. It seems. Okay, I have a little tutu with um, tights underneath. Just One You, made by Carter's 3M. They have metallic silver polka dots. Now, who did you say had the trademark Gerber. on? Gerber. Gerber, well, this says onesies on it. They can't say that, right? I mean. Does onesies have its own brand? Well, it I says onesies Gerber brand, it. it says newborn. Onesies brand, newborn. And it is, uh, I guess those are uh, cupcakes. Cupcakes on that. And flowers. Cute. Yes. This is Carter's six months. Feel the material on this. It's not cotton. It's like a no. structured material. This does have a hole. So this is the piece that I'm, I'm finding. Oh, I see. Yes. I'm sure nobody would care if your child wore that, but this okay. one is flawed. This is Just One For You by Carter's three months pants once again. And the last one is made by Children's Place, brand new with tags, nine fifty. It's my birthday, mm. six to nine months. So let's count. <sighs> Started counting yours. Hold on. Seven, eight. I have seven, so it's fifteen. Fifteen, and mm -hmm. one has flaws. I didn't realize there was going to be a math involved. I knew. Um, so you will get a piece flawed every once in a while, but overall this was pretty good. A lot more new at tags. Yes. And again, even though they're asking six dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars at the store for these retail, they go on clearance all the time. So okay. we will set those aside. And now open a bigger box. This is Mixed Tops 2X. So Mixed Tops 2X. I'm assuming it's, we're supposed to have 25 of them. Okay. And the cost was $60 for this box. Okay. So these will all be 2X. So if that's your size, Hopefully you like something. Okay, now we're through with the, all the baby stuff. I think right. so. Okay, all right. Well, our first one is a jet. Is that how Jeet. you say? Jeet. Mm -hmm. A 2X top. And it is some sort of, uh, is it like rayon or what is that? I think it's just a thin polyester. Okay. It's got a really fun print. Let me see the front. Oh, love this. Did you see the front? Yes. It's cold shoulder. That's the name of it. That's the style. The style right the, there. With the hole, the yes. And yes. then um, it has a little bit here. And then the bust has a little bit cut out. Zipper back. It's cute. It's black and kind of a dark plum. Oh, oh okay. This is brown though here. This is. Yeah, but yeah. this part isn't brown. It's plum. It's oh, almost like oh. a purpley kind oh, of okay. brown. All right. And red and white. Very interesting. Okay. Next is Catherine's size 2X Petite. Bright yellow. Is this cotton? It feels like cotton. Just a nice piece. 
It looks to be in really good shape. Now this is chaps, but I see that the, the tag is, is loose. Yes, one so, part of the tag is intact yes. down. This is a top. Oh, pockets. Oh. Oh, love the fabric on this. Yes. This does have some, oh, it's just loose lint. Yeah, nice. No boundaries is Walmart, so just a t-shirt here. Again, 2X or XXL. This is probably their juniors line, so I think it'd fit a little bit closer to the body in purple. Faded Glory 2X, that's also Walmart, right? It is. Okay, top, green top. Green top, great for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> or if you like green. White Stag, Walmart, double XL, 20. This is kind of a peachy salmon color. Just a plain t-shirt. Faded Glory 2X t-shirt with a v-neck, black. Yeah, another basic. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one's got tags. This one is made by Ideology. They spelt it wrong. Ideologically. Ideology. I Ideolol. Ideology. Ideology. That's what it I is. I know, but they spelt it wrong. But okay, 2X. Okay. It is brand new with tags. Let's see if it has a price. It doesn't. What's on the front of this? Uh, no pain, no champagne, team bride. Oh. So it's apparently for a bachelorette party. Either that or if you're working out to be fit on your wedding day, you could kind of uh, okay. wear this in the gym. Sure. And it has the racer back. Very nice, brand okay. new. This is a Terra Sky 2X top with a, I don't know, that's Split not, V. Split V, okay. Yeah, I like the color. Right. It's a soft one. This is also new with tag. Curve Revolution, size 2X. It is a knit, what kind of color is this? Olive maybe? With a kangaroo pocket in a different print. Yeah, I would say it's... Hooded, huh. zip up. Um, panels on the side, the slimming panels in a ribbed olive. Nice. By the way, is Curves still a thing? You used to go to Curves a long time ago. I did ago. used to go to Curves. Is that still a thing? No idea. Okay, extra touch, 2X. Oh, this is a... Brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. And this is the... What do you, is this what you call cold that shoulder. cold shoulder? Yes. But as is, normally they have bigger normally the they spaghetti do. straps. Is that what this is? Yeah, spaghetti straps. Spaghetti straps. Mm -hmm. I have the same exact shirt, brand okay. new with tags, in a different colorway. So mine is pink and turquoise and like a reddish Fuchsia. orange. Yeah. Yours is it's more fall. Okay, push those off to the. We're not going to count them. Oh yeah, we have to count them. Okay. Don't do that. French Laundry. French Laundry 2X. Looks like a V-neck top, but has something on the back here that's different. The sleeves are rolled and pinned into place. Uh, V-neck, you're right. What is, what is that? That's a turnaround. Okay. So there's an extra, can you hold it? Yes. There we go. Mm -hmm. There's an extra piece of material just across the back. That's it, just like an extra little just a flutter design. piece. Yep. Okay. Okay, I was holding up a red, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a hole. Chaps 2X, a very dark kind of maroon color, split V, lace across the top, long sleeves. This is beautiful. This would just be one of those pieces if you're around like shopping for the holidays and you want to look a little bit put together, but not that much. This is an easy piece. This is a Karen Scott 2X with the strawberry on. It's a strawberry. It's a three quarter Brand sleeve. Tags. Uh, yeah, three-quarter sleeve. Okay. Kind of a heathered um, denim blue color. This would be denim friendly. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's got rhinestones on the... I think it's an apple. What do you think? Uh, yes, I would say it's an apple, yes. It's an apple. Mm -hmm. It could kind of go both ways, but I think it's meant to be an apple. And this was new with tags. Okay. Pick up the next piece. Mm -hmm. This has sayings on it. This has, I wear used clothes. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Look. Yes. It Clever. is Sport Savvy, which is an HSN or QVC brand 2X. So this is going to be cut a little bit looser than some of the 2Xs. 
and it's a kind of light blue. That's so funny. I wear used clothes. Be lush. Is that how you say that? Be lush. Be lush. 2X top, uh, sleeveless. Good. Uh, Split V. Slit V. Split. Split. Like it was a V neck and then they split it. Okay. This is a nice fabric too, don't you think? It's not itchy. Yes. I don't like that itchy fabric. What is this? This is polyester spandex. Okay. Next up. Jacqueline Smith XXL, really light pink sherbetty swirl almost. I don't know how to describe this. It has a sheen to it, so it's a little bit catch the light and sparkle, don't you think? Yes, I would agree. Really pretty. Yes. This is a Live Active, is that what's? Yes, L-I-V-I -I maybe? I don't know, they, they X'd it out. There's like so a line. 18 to 20, I don't know what that means. That's oh, that's not really a 2X, but, but that's okay. What does this say on the front? Snow Worries. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. And then the branding there. It has really long um, wrist cuffs, but no thumb hole. Still, oh, thumb hole. I was lying. There's a thumb hole. Okay. This is nice. If this would be my size and I'd have snow, I would keep that. Well, we're thankful we don't have snow. So thankful. I go. This is Extra Touch, brand new, size 2X. Very strappy so far, whatever this is. The next one is Extra Touch 2X, brand new with tags, thank you. Mm -hmm. It has a cold shoulder spaghetti straps that adjust and a flutter, kind of sheer, not so much. And then I guess this is either a mini dress, they put it in the tops category, so it could also just be worn with leggings. It's new with tags. There's new with tags, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. This is an old navy 2X shirt. Ooh, Long sleeve. This. Yes. It's embroidered. Let's see the season on this. If I can find it. This is not showing me the season. Womp womp. But there's bright pink, light blue, dark blue. Those are the colors. Well, I, I appreciate you inserting your own sound effects. Womp womp. Did yes. you do womp womp? Yes. <laughs> Another piece from Extra Touch, brand new with tags. Extra touch is really all about this cold shoulder thing here. And then a little bit of sleeve. This one has butterflies. Oh, look at that. And there's like a ruffle across the front. Well, that's a drag, some dragonfly. Oh, do you see dragonflies too? Oh yes, dragonflies. Mm -hmm. And this ruffle just goes into the sleeve. Very fun. Oh, and then there's a sparkly bit down here. They have like a sparkle dropped waist. Interesting. First of all, feel this tag. <laughs> it's like a plastic or a rubber yeah, or something. Yeah, it's a Just Be Free. It's a 2X and it is a heathered. Slub. Heathered slub and it is a scoop neck, right? Yeah. Short sleeve shirt. Yeah, nice. Easy peasy. Oh, I think I have the matching shirt to you. This is the same shirt in a darker gray. That's so funny. It, it does have a nice feel to it. French, French laundry, laundry 2x and we did the shirt has the roll a different sleeves color. yeah scoop neck and has an extra piece on the back of fabric that little fluttery piece we did that in a different color okay okay so I guess now we will cut to when we have counted but in reality we're just counting I have 15 I have 10 so that's 25 exactly what we ordered all right nice we will be back shortly we are going to clear some of this and bring up some more boxes and turn this off turn it off okay next box we have no idea what's in here I'm gonna put this over here all right don't go through anything just yet okay okay so this is the Rescue box, mixed clothing, extra small, small. And I paid $30. So this must be the mixed clothing quantity of 10. So this could be skirts, dresses, anything. This is very smart of you to do this, what you did there. Thanks, I figured I'd get overwhelmed quickly if I didn't. No, it's a good idea. Okay, 
So we paid $30 for everything. Okay. You want to open a, a parcel? Okay. Alrighty. This is Banana Republic Stretch and oh, let me see. 4R. Four 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 R. regular. Okay. And these are pants. Stretchy yes. pants. They seem to be in pretty good shape. They have a slight flare at the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are really nice. These are now back in style, supposedly, somebody told me. I have to see what where they came from. They were from the 2004 collection. So these are 14, 15 years old. They never sold. They ne Well, somebody bought them, okay. possibly wore them, oh, and okay. then sent them in to thread up. Okay. Okay. Next I have, I'm guessing, a skirt? No. Capri pants. Like Palazzo. Do you know what they call those pants that like break dancers wear with a low crotch, like a drop to Parachute crotch? pants? Maybe parachute pants. Forever 21, size extra small. Black and tan. Feel this material and tell me what you think. Uh, it feels like polyester or something, I guess. It's very cool material, I would say. Like, your skin reads it as cool. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. Interesting. Well, you know, I know we have tons of stuff to do, but yeah. we cannot go let the parachute pants go without an MC Hammer reference. Okay, go for it. MC Hammer. Oh, that's it. Can't touch this. You can't touch this. All yes. right. Kelvin Klein, size two. Dress very pants. Nice. Yes, a really nice pair, true. I, yeah. Huh. Impressive so far. Next is something crushed. Ooh, Victoria's Secret, brand new tags, retailed for $48, extra small, small. So this is a nightgown, I would say. Or you could probably throw a turtleneck on and wear it as the dress. But spaghetti straps, adjustable. Crushed black velvet, very reminiscent of the 90s, but definitely now also. I love this. Calvin Klein pants again. So, oh no, skirt. Size two, black, zipper back. Nice. Okay. Express, good brand, extra small. This has like a snake skin kind of thing happening. Yes. Nice career top. You can wear your sleeves up or down. Very nice. I'll have to look for these tops tend to get pulls in them very easily. So I'll have to watch for that. But that's something I can do later. This is a soft and sexy suede. Is that what you said? Yes. And this is American Eagle. Yes. I was getting to that, but I don't know the size. Small. Small. Okay. This has a sleeveless top with a keyhole back. It is very soft. Mm -hmm. Has that suede feel to it. I, hand, hand me oh, I'm that. sorry. I'm sorry. Hand me that. Maybe somebody wants this. Okay. It's a high low. Did you say that? I did not. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a small, but okay. Sorry. All right. That's fine. Next up, brand new tags. This is Mean e Mean Minetor. Meteor. I'm saying Meteor. I don't know okay. if that's correct, but. It is, oh, it's a really pretty dress. It is a size, nothing. There's literally no size. I'm gonna assume it's a small because it's in this box. It's a blue dress. They don't wanna pull my thing. Um, High-low, but asymmetrical high-low, not back to front, side to side. And then it has a back V. It's really pretty. That, that'd be nice for the holidays, I would think. This is a Kendall and Kylie. This is apparently the Kardashian people. Yes. And it's a small and it is a top, I guess. A... It's a play suit. It's a pair of shorts attached. And then this is the belt. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a very unique design. Yes. I wonder who sold this. It's it, new with tags. Yeah, it went for $40. It would pay for So now, days. since this is new with tags, this has never been sold. Never been worn. Oh, okay. Somebody bought it. Okay, okay. Just never worn. I got it, yeah. Oh, I have a chunky sweater that looks promising. It is candies. I haven't seen that label in forever. Extra small, black. Oh, it's a cardigan. Huh. 
Now, was Candy's like a mall store or it something? It is. Or still is? It could be. I oh. don't know. Okay. We have a little bit of a pull issue. So I'll have to make sure. Nope, we've got a hole. Hole there. Okay. okay. This is a thread supply small. And it is a denim shirt. Something Jay Leno would wear in his garage. He always wears <laughs> denim. That's a <laughs> you know Jay yeah, Leno's garage? I do. Yeah, okay. That's funny. This looks nice. If it has all the buttons and stuff, I should be able to sell that. Okay, so we're gonna count up pieces. Okay. And we'll have to, of course, mention the flawed item. Eight. I don't know how I only ended up with three pieces. But... I took some of Oh, okay, all right. So we got 11. All right. And we were supposed to get 10. Oh. So this top with the hole, great. We really did get 10, if all of these are okay. <laughs> So now this piece, for example, that has all, what do you donate this? Is that oh, probably, I don't even know. Would somebody want that even as a, as a whole? Uh, it depends on. How bad it is? Yeah, if they need it for a costume or if they like it. I don't know, I guess I'll donate it. I never know what to do with that. There's no buttons or anything where I could like take those off and use them at least. It's not a material that we'd be able to clean or use in our house. Right. I don't, I don't. Oh, that's it. This is Rescue Box. Oh, did I put a check by that one? I did. Um, jewelry. Five pounds of broken jewelry. I think this one is. Jewelry, five pounds. So this was $34. like a lot of fun. Oh, this is... There you go. It is heavy. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. You that... know that song? No, I don't. That song by the Hollies. The Hollies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> my favorite one so far. Okay. Okay. Do you have your phone close by? Uh, no, but I can go get it. If Could you... you go get it? But you're all hooked up, though. I have to undo it. Why Why do we need my phone? Because if I could just show it and then put that footage in, that would okay. be awesome. Well, I will just take this off. Okay. Yeah. This is so fun. Okay, so just like panning. Okay. This is everything we received in this box. And I'm going to sort it out of the pile and then show you piece by piece. Quit waving in front of my camera, man. <laughs> okay. Now keep going or what? Yeah. So show. Here's the first piece. This looks to be in really nice shape. Right? That looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect piece. Am I doing this the entire time of this pile right yes. here? Okay. So I'll try to go quickly. Oh, this is missing two stones. Nope, three stones. This is not missing stones, but it broke and needs to reattached. So that will need to be done before it sells. Oh, and it is missing two stones. So I'll probably sell some of this broken jewelry just as broken jewelry. That is an earring. Okay, we have a... Necklace? Necklace. This is in good shape. We have another necklace. This is Chico's. It looks like it's in perfect shape. Another necklace. Great shape. This one doesn't feel heavy though. These stones might be fake, but very pretty. We have a pair of earrings in a plastic bag, which is weird. They look well, perfect. I think they didn't want them to get lost in the mix there. Yeah, very nice. Why don't you just put that back in the plastic bag? I will eventually. Okay. All right. Then we have a stack of bracelets. Oh, these are gorgeous, guys. With, I'm sure this comes off, but this is how they were sold. These look like they're also in perfect shape. We're going to keep going. 
Um, these remind me of Bobble Bar, but they have no um, branding. So, very cute. Pink enamel. Looks okay. This is one of those wrap bracelets in good shape. This is a leather, I'm guessing it is a necklace with metal, no branding. We have tassels, but we're missing a few of the tassels. So that's gonna be an as is piece. Very heavy. And I'm guessing that will work as a necklace. Some bracelets. This is Lily Pulitzer missing the tassel. So I might be able to take that other tassel bracelet and put it there. Cause this is branded. Oh, and it says something. State of mind. Something state of mind. I don't know. I can find that. This is giant. Oh, so pretty. These beads seem handmade here. Do we have the brand? No. Gorgeous seed bead, multi-strand, gorgeous. Then we have another necklace. Are all of the beads there? They are. Oh, so this one I really thought was just gonna be like messed up jewelry, but it's not all messed up. This looks like a mall brand kind of thing. Um, It has little rhinestones in the daisies, but the, they all seem there so far. This is interesting. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm guessing it's some kind of braided necklace. Got a bunch of silver. This is a fairly heavy silver. I'll have to look for any markings later, but this could be real silver. I don't know that it is. I'm not sure how it works. Oh, we're getting there. Interesting. Very interesting. Thanks for doing this, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have another seed bead necklace. Great condition. This must have went to something and now does not. You could make those easily into earrings. Oh, I love this. Something's, something's attached. I don't know what it is. Wanna pause it for a little bit and help me do something? It is just loose random bits and bobs. This is fairly nice though. It's no markings, but it's very pretty. Then we have a necklace with fake pearls. Rhinestones seem to be in good shape. And a bracelet with the same. It is slightly stretchy, so that's nice. This is stunning. This seems to have all of the beads. It's a very statement piece. That's okay, because we're going off of this now. Some brand new earrings. Simple gold, not gold, fake gold piece. Another earring. We've got some gold tone dangle earrings with like a mod charm in the middle. We have a set of those. Then there is a necklace if somebody wanted to put this back together and there are three additional pieces. So I'm sure it was supposed to have like a full loop of these. We also got this. I thought that might have been real, but it's not. This very interesting, almost coin-like golden piece. It is missing a few rhinestones, however. I adore this. Is this J. Crew? It is. It's marked. It is Talbot's. However, one of the petals is missing the rhinestone. I wonder if I could just... Oh, there it is. I could just hot glue that back in. That's really pretty. Next, we have this kind of warrior guy on a chain. He's a slide pendant. 
We also have a very long chain. And this has some other pearl and just a little leaf and some doodads. Next up is this. This is fully together. It's a big statement piece. Only a few left. This, <laughs> this needs to <laughs> come out. The, there we go. It's a triple. It's a triple uh, strand of a whole bunch of blues and grays and greens. We have this. This is very heavy as well. It's got like a pale pink stone and a rhinestone cluster ball and some heavy chains. We also have this and I'm thinking these are two necklaces. So like pretend this is one necklace <laughs> and then somehow we have to detach it. And this is another necklace, I guess, I guess. Then we have a locket bracelet. It's very chunky. Again, with some like coins, Alexander the Great, uh, some other names I don't know. Then on the floor, <laughs> there's one. This is really pretty. This is a long one with tassels and different opaque and transparent beads. And then I think that's it. I think those are everything. Okay. Thanks, sweetie. So we just went through all of the jewelry. All of this was, I think, $35. Is that what I said? Looks like $40. $34. That's an insane value. They were supposed to be mostly broken pieces. That's mixed jewelry. This was five pounds of jewelry. Okay. So this was something different. It was DIY jewelry. Okay. Awesome box. I mean, we probably got 30 pieces and a lot of them are in a really good shape. So we'll, we'll skip over this part, but we're going to clean them up. Okay. The next box. Uh, nope. Yep. <laughs> we're taped up. Multi-tape here. What do you think it's going to be? I don't know. Still don't know. Nope. Okay. You think this is the other jewelry box? I believe it is, yes. Okay, so the DIY jewelry, which I thought went really well, was five pounds for $34. This jewelry is mixed jewelry, okay. 24 pieces for $40. All right, do I need to do with the camera again? No, let, let's okay. see. Good. It looks like they separated everything, which yes. is really nice. It is very nice. So, oh my goodness, I love this first piece. Do you mind bringing out the camera again, just because it'll be easier for me to, to insert the footage? You know what? Go. The first piece has like two cheetahs or I don't know, some kind of heads. It's really pretty, adjustable. The next three pieces, they're counting as one I'm assuming, and I should probably just show it through the bag, but I'm not going to. Very natural, very smooth stone. I'm gonna have to get a ring sizer to be able to tell what size rings, but three pieces, very natural. This one is a bronze rope style, very heavy bangle. The next is, I can pull it out, it's a ring. It's not adjustable, no markings. I'm going to put it like up here so you can see it. So that's that one. Assuming this is a necklace. Very chunky necklace. There we are. Nice. This is turquoise. Oh, this has a break in it. This is a Ralph Lauren. So I just have to glue this back to here and it's fine. So it's turquoise and it's silver. Very few scratches with the L 
RLL monogram. Next, I love this. Look at that. Whoa, that's really something. Let's see if my giant wrist will. It's not supposed to go here. Yeah. What do you think? Very cool. I don't, I'll put markings if I see them. Then we have very thin drop earrings. Some really tiny purple silver tone earrings. I'm gonna have to take some of these out and photograph them later. Some hearts with an opaque bluish stone. A five petal, four petal? I don't know. And diamond. That really looks like real diamond, so I'll have to check that. A kind of gold rope style bangle with some fake pearls. Chunky black one. It looks like all vintage, like shank buttons. Very cool. It's heavy. Oh, love these freshwater pearls. Look at that. It's meant to go like, like this. It has a toggle. Oh, look at the colors. That's beautiful, right? Next is, looks like Lynx. So I'm guessing it is, oh, it's a, <laughs> I'm not guessing. It's earrings, and there's two of them. Open the big faceted jeep green, whatever this is, necklace. Pretty. Love those greens. I don't see a marking on it. Next, it looks like some kind of leather or leatherette. It's a lot of leather. Is this a headband? Choker, maybe? Probably a choker with mm -hmm. some really long straps. Next, we have a brown and kind of turquoise esque necklace. Oh, really pretty piece. This is silver tone with a bunch of really tiny inset diamonds or diamond esque stones. Stretch. This one has a lot of sparkle as well. This one says something. Um, oh, it's the bracelet set. Pure Vita. I don't know. Or you can get like three bracelets for $20. So that's one of those. Ooh. This is a very bobbly piece. I don't know why they gave us another stone. Do you see that any of the stones are out? I don't. Maybe they're removable stones? No, they are not. So, I don't know. Somebody gets a free stone. This is marked New York. That's it. It's another leather, leatherette piece. Again, I'm guessing this is a choker. Maybe even a necklace. Like, you could wrap it around your hand 4,000 times and create like one of those looks. Yeah, I think you could do that too. I wonder if that's real silver. I'll have to see. Four or five pieces left. You're doing a great job. This is a very tiny little ball. And usually when that happens, this means it's real gold or it's fairly upscale. There is a marking on there. Oh my goodness. It'd be more exciting if I could read that. I'm not going to be able to read that. Can, can you read that? Can you blow up your screen? like? If you, can you hold it still? Okay. Uh, should I put it down on the thing? Put it down on the thing. Did I do it on the right way? You did. Move it back slightly. 
What if I put my hand under it? Keep it there. We're going to do this, you and I. Okay. Nope, we're going to need a magnifying glass. <laughs> Oh, you're really close. Right? Can anybody read that? Very pretty. We'll save the box for last. This looks nice. This looks well made too. So this is a shorter with some Matching, but not perfectly matching. So I'm going to guess natural. Thought maybe it was real silver. I think it is. It is marked something. That does none of us any good. 14? I don't know. I'm going to have to get a magnifying glass. Ooh, silver luxury. So I'm assuming it's genuine macasite because of that, but real silver, $60. This doesn't look like a super fancy fine silver though. Nice. Okay. So we just finished unboxing this jewelry and this jewelry was just as good in my opinion. Go for the jewelry boxes. They're good. Okay, you wanna put each piece back in? Sure. Do you want a story or not? I want a story. Okay, you kept saying those certain type of bracelets are Bangles, or is that what you call it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know the Bangles group? Mm -hmm. Okay, the Bangles. I just saw a clip of this the other night on YouTube. Suzanne Vega was the lead singer for the Bangles. Okay. okay. Their, one of their most famous songs was called e Eternal Flame. Okay. And the other, I don't know when she did this, but there was a video clip of her. She went into a karaoke place. Mm hmm and sang her, sang that oh. song on a karaoke place. I don't know if anybody knew it was her or what. Yeah. I didn't get to that part of it. But. Okay. Yeah. So it's where you, you brought them watching us? I just saw it on YouTube. On this, YouTube. This, is, this is a clip of Suzanne Vega singing Eternal Flame at a karaoke bar. So, you know. I hope people would recognize her if she's I would famous. Hope, I would hope, well, I mean, she hasn't been, I mean, that's in the 80s. She was in the 80s. In the 80s she would was. you be sad as a musician, a fairly famous at one time musician, if you walked in and sang something and nobody knew who you were? Yes. Yeah. I Every bet. normal performer on the planet would feel that Right? Way. So why yes. would you put that pressure on yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you knew people were going to know you. Yeah. Like she put it on social media or she had friends and family in town and or, who would... Or she wanted to make it a thing like, would anybody realize that I'm singing my own song? Yes. But then how about if the answer is no? That's you have to deal with. She didn't have to publish it. Okay. So hopefully the answer was yes. We'll just pretend the answer is yes. Okay. Okay. So all of that jewelry, including some decent pieces all right. for $40. All I right. think that was a pretty good deal. Okay. Okay. We're going to break and put all those boxes over there and be back for more okay we took a short break we ate something we're back the other day i asked fair i said are you excited to do the thread up unboxings and you said <laughs> i said no because there's nothing there's not going to be anything in here that i would be want or be excited about so no it's nothing personal so I said, could there be anything in these boxes, anything at all, music equipment, whatever it is, in these boxes past like cash or bars of gold that you would be excited about? And what'd you say? <laughs> past cash and bars of gold, probably not. No. Yeah. No, nope, there nothing. couldn't be too much of anything. I said, yeah. how about like Les Paul guitars? Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, I, I don't need a Les Paul guitar and I'm, I mean, I'm not that kind of guitar player. That kind of guitar player is a guy that, I, Les Paul guitar is a guy that <laughs> is a real guitar player. I'm a singer, so I accompany myself. I strum, I, you, you, some of you heard some of the stuff me playing, but that's not like a lead player. So I don't, I don't really consider myself a guitar player. I mean, I play guitar, but. Yeah. <laughs> 
so there's that. I think it could have been a camera that plugs, we could have a microphone plug right into the camera. That would be exciting because right now we're using our camera for the visual and microphones to my phone for the audio. So every time I need to sync those up, it doesn't take a long time, but it would be really nice to have a camera that a microphone would plug right into. So, so that could have been in the box and they're really <laughs> excited because those so, are like a thousand dollars. So they make a camera that you plug the microphone right into the camera yes. and then we wouldn't have to wear these or it'd be Bluetooth. Well, Bluetooth or I wouldn't have to sync it up at least, I think. Anyway. Okay. Next box. All right. What is this here? Oh, that was just the jewelry. All right. So this one does have an invoice. This is the Rescue Box 10 Mix Tops of 0X. Now 0X is a really funny size, so I'm going to be curious to see if they consider 0X a 1X or an extra large. 0X, a lot of companies don't make 0X. Well, in my mind, 0X should just be a large because well, 2X... Well, they do extra large. That'd be 2X. No, okay. that's not how Okay, yes, okay, works. you're right, that still works. In my mind, a zero X would be a large. Okay. And XL would be an extra large. A double X would be two extra large. A three X would be three extra So a zero X, in my mind, would just be a large. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not, it shouldn't be the case. So 10 pieces for $30. So this box is zero X, we'll see what this says. This box also looks like they didn't put the clothes inside of the tissue paper. Mm. I don't know. We'll see. You go first. Karen Scott, this is a Zero X. Oh, it is a Zero X. 60% cotton, 40% polyester. It's new with tags. So, sort of heather. A bit of a oh! scoop neck. Very Floridian-like. Oh, it has flamingos dressed up like with an ugly Christmas sweater. Or Oh, they're just stinking adorable. They're just Christmas flamingos. That's so fun. Okay. All right. That's my favorite so far. Next, I have an extra large City Streets. This is like blue and black. Shimmer. Shimmer. A shell, double, v-neck. Nice under a little cardigan or a blazer. This is a perfect shirt XL. <laughs> and that is the name of it. Not that the shirt itself is a perfect shirt. I like the high low. It's, it's very like flannel-y, but a lightweight flannel. Yes. This is Time and True, which is either Walmart or Target. I always forget. Extra large polyester cotton, polyester spandex. A really light pink polka dot. Maybe even a medium. What color are you calling that? Uh, yeah, that's a me medium, medium pink, pink, pink or something. Yes. With white. Yeah. This is a charter club, and this is zero X, and it is a short sleeve New shirt. New tags. New with tags. Has some sort of funky design. It's cool, but it's yeah, like yeah, it's a texture. Texture. It's called their perfectly soft Pima cotton. And it has this stripe with smooth and then like a pucker to it. Nice. Okay. Betcha that was probably like $20, $30. Uh, Old Navy, extra large, see-through, kind of an eye cat print, long sleeves. They don't roll up. Very long, very breezy, kind of boho. Boho? Boho, bohemian. Okay. Alfani, this is a zero X as well. Now, R, did you determine what size you thought a zero X was in real life or whatever? No, I just assumed it was an extra large. So I'm Tropical Reef, it's called. It's brand new with tags. So is it possible that my theories hold correct that a zero X is just a large? No. So this would be an extra large size? This would be at least an extra large, probably like an extra large plus. It's somewhere oh. between extra large and one X. So they just named it zero X for be weird. It's under a 1X. It's under a 1X? Yes. So it's smaller than a 1X. Smaller than a 1X, but, but bigger than an extra large. 
Okay. They've created it their own category. Right. This is really pretty. It is fully lined. It has a bubble hem, but soft. It's not a hard elastic, so it flows really well. And the camisole underneath is built in. And there's this pleating. Love this micro pleating. Even the sleeves are really pretty on that angle. Really nice, brand new with tags. This is also brand new with tags. This is also a zero X style and company woman. Look at that print. It's like a leaf kind of tropical or tribal. I know those things are different, but oh, buttons down the front. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? Thank you this? for acknowledging those are different things. Just saying words now, no. a dark red and black kind of see through. I would wear something at least nude under that, whatever that means to you. This is a Karen Scott Zero X. Oh no, there were so many. Oh, new with tags. Yes, new with tags, it's a t-shirt. Oh, it's got a giant star on the front with um, faceted oh. like little stones in silver. That's very fun. patriotic. That's fun. That would be perfect for tomorrow at the retirement community as <laughs> well, it is Veterans Day. Yeah, I don't think I'll be... Not for you. Yeah. <laughs> Just like I used to wear that kind of yeah. stuff when I worked there. Or at the kindergarten I used to work at, I would yes. also wear that stuff. This is also a perfect shirt, extra large, really soft, light blue. I like it. Mm-hmm. So how many pieces? I got five. I have five. That's how many they were supposed to do. So right, that was $40. That was $30. So $30. It was $3 each. Yeah, $3 each with free shipping. Again, I had the free shipping code. It was only applicable to that one day. If I see another code come up, I'll post it though. That was a great deal. One of those shirts retail would have been $30. Okay. Even at Walmart, their shirts are, you know, like 15 bucks. So, okay. Let's see what's up next. Alrighty. This should be the large rescue box mixed clothing, $30. So this is Tops, skirts, jackets, anything clothing wise. 10 pieces, size large, $30. Okay, I have to insert another song reference. Do it. Because this should be. Okay. And I just heard this today on the way to my gig, Everlasting Love by Natalie Cole. Nice. And Natalie Cole is Nat King Cole's daughter. Yeah, I knew that actually. Yes. I, you know what? I'm not sure if Natalie Cole... I don't think Natalie Cole's alive anymore either. Hmm. I can't remember that. But I don't know. Yeah. So we'll take out some bundles. Looks like we have two bundles. And they took the time to actually wrap them. I know. <laughs> and also, there's like half of one of these. That's so funny. These look well wrapped. Out of everything we've gotten so far, like this looks so, whoever did this did a great job. I have a, now all these should be larges. So dance skin now, semi-fitted workout shirt in a blue stripe. I have a Simply Vera, Vera Wang large. Uh, oh, pretty. Oh, with the chiffon underneath. What is the material too? It's like. It's like a textured velvet like there you go. Yes, yes, yes. long sleeve v-neck v-neck it has the slits at the side and then the chiffon underneath very pretty apartment nine size large this looks like it's in great shape lace front split v-neck sleeves that you can button up kind of a grayish color i'd say like yes a mushroom. i would say so what mushroom gray Mushroom gray? I'm calling it a mushroom gray. Mushrooms are tan though, aren't they? I know, but I don't know. Okay. Halston. You know you can't just make up words yeah. on your own. Mushroom gray. H by Halston. This is a decent brand. Oh, that's a really nice top actually. Feels really well made. Bell sleeves. Mm -hmm. My color. Yes. This. I wonder if this is going to fit me. I bet you this is like some kind of nice cotton. Doesn't it feel like it? It does feel like nice cotton, yes. Rayon. You don't like rayon though, right? I, well, this really feels like cotton. But I'm saying in general. I usually yeah. don't like rayon, but yes. however they knit it, made it here, made it feel like cotton. Okay. Cloud Chaser. 
This is a maroon size large. And then at the end, look at that. Oh, oh you thought it was just plain. Nope. Plaid material coming out the bottom. Very pretty. Okay. Okay, this is a Gap flannel shirt. Nice. And the pattern of it was when I was a kid in Pennsylvania, the big thing was like deer hunting. Yes, of so course. So they had sh jackets, the wool rich jackets, and yes. they were red and black yes. checks. I always wanted one of those, but they were expensive. Oh, so you never got one? I never did, but they also had these boots, white boots that you put air in that were somehow supposed to be keep your feet warmer. Okay. Yeah. This is a really nice flannel, like truly, I would be able to wear that. And I can't wear a lot of this brushed kind of stuff, but this has nothing to me. What well, doesn't have a brush on? It's not brushed, is it? Feel it's like a it's a soft, like yes. broken in material. Yes. Is it my turn? These are new. Josh World? Josh, Josh World. World. Size large. Khaki. These are tiny. No way are those a size large. No, Come on. Think so. Come on, Josh World. I'll have to try them on just to see. Maybe they stretch. Oh, they do have a lot of stretch. Oh, well, they have that much stretch. I mean, yeah. These might be like a junior's large. I'll, I'll, we'll see about those. This is a Ruby Road size 12 top with oh, some embroidery like things on it. It's a jacket. It's, it's a got zip a zipper. Oh. Yeah. It's, okay. it's not lined, but a heavier jacketing material. And um, it has all this like lattice work stuff. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sonoma Boot Cut 12 cords. Do people still wear cords? I don't know. I had a pair of cords cut. almost exactly like that. Right? Yes. Everybody did, I think, in the early 2000s. Cords were very much a thing. Okay. This is a New York. <laughs> New York and Company. New York and Company. Size large. And a split V. Oh, close. This is a cardigan with a V-neck. Okay. It goes up. Um, I see a little bit of, I don't even know if anybody would care, but there's like a little pick. I might be able to fix that. It's a burnt orange color, I would say, right? Yes. What do you think? What is this? Silk nylon rayon. See the little bit of a pick right here? Oh, yes. Usually if I take a needle and just like poke at it, that'll come back through the other side. Okay. And then you don't have the pick in the front. But past that, it's it's nice. Okay. We're ready to count? On pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. I have two. How did I only end up with two? I grabbed a few of those okay. to feel the fabrics. Okay. This was mostly like tops. I think this was supposed to be more of an assortment. But we didn't get any dresses or skirts in this, did we? Uh, no, I don't think not in this particular one. So now I'm looking to make sure. This does say mixed clothing. The mixed clothing was supposed to include all of that, but oh well. Okay, let me drop this on the floor. So you, you found the proper box to check off? Yeah. Okay. But again, it was supposed to include all of that or any of that, I guess. Oh, okay. So now we just have to put those boxes over there. You want to grab those boxes? Can I just get them without stopping anything? Yeah, let's okay. try that. I lost my shoe. Oh, well, you have plenty to replace it. <laughs> so true. My sister was here this past week and she was wearing my Birkenstocks and we must have had like nine pairs of Birkenstocks. Yes. That's all all of the Birkenstocks wound up out there. I am going to open this a little bit off camera because our dress is on it. Oh, did I already do that? I think I already did that. This is Gap and Old Navy size medium. So they specifically had Gap and Old Navy, but only in small and medium. So this is the medium box. 10 pieces, anything Gap or Old Navy for $40. Okay. Again, just tissue paper on the top yeah. of the box. Okay. I'll start us off with a Gap Medium V-neck sleeveless shirt 
It's a nice big size. Asymmetric, no, no, it's like asymmetric, it's high-low in the back, is that what it is? Yeah, and there's a pocket right by your armpit. Huh. Turn that around and look at that for a second. Okay. This is a really weird top here. Yes, it is. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it is asymmetrical. This is a yes. weird one, guys. It's very oversized. It has a shimmer in the material. Mm -hmm. um, it looks a little what my paint in my bedroom was supposed to look like. Yes, we tried to do like a really pale gray with a sparkle. Yeah, the sparkles didn't come out too. Yeah, this is from 2011. Not that they're bad, they're just not too noticeable. Yeah, this is from Gap, size medium. I think everything is size medium. You'd have to wear something underneath that, but I love the print. I'm going to say that included the camisole originally. This is Gap, the Minna. The Minna Soda Wash Raglan. Okay. The old soda wash. It has a pocket. It does have a pocket. It's used, but not bad. It is from, it is called the Soda Wash Raglan in Crisp Royal Blue from the Holiday 2012 collection. Very specific here. Yes. This is Old Navy, size medium. Oh, is this a dress? This might be one of our first dresses. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, totally a dress. Just a shift dress. So it goes just straight down. It is, oh, keyhole. It's in a nice material. I'm gonna say it's probably polyester, right? Yes. Okay. It doesn't have a ton of structure. I wanna see because um, Old Navy and Gap always have when they were made. So this was from the holiday 2014 collection. So just just a few years ago. Uh, this is Gap, but I don't see a size oh, on it. Oh, love it. Medium. Medium? Okay. I think I've owned this top before, or at least sold it. I, I recognize this top. It's like a denim blue with a turquoise stripe. Imagine. This is the Shrunken Boyfriend Blue Stripe from the spring 2014. Okay. <laughs> I'll take one. Right. Oh, love this. Oh, I love this so much. This is so not me. Old Navy, size medium, floral print with that like lantern sleeve almost with the bell at the end. Love that. Uh, what's, I don't know what a lantern sleeve is. I'll sketch it for you. Oh, I was hoping for an explanation actually. There has a bell. You said it has a bell, mm -hmm. but but you also said a lantern sleeve with a bell. Yeah. So Some lantern sleeves don't really have that true bell. So then what is a lantern sleeve without a bell? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> that my point. That is the question. Yes. Yes. We're moving on. All right. It's a keyhole with a tie. Let me see what collection this was from. We'll have to do this on every piece just from this box. See if they're giving us new stuff or old stuff. This is from fall 18, so this was last year's line. Impressive. Okay. It's a Gap medium oh, shirt. Oh, love that. A little embroidery in it. I love when the threads are like pulled out. Mm -hmm. and, and what is that called? I, don't, I forget what that's called. Kind of a Swiss dot pocket. I'm going to look for the year. Okay. Maybe I am. Here we go. Fall 2014. No, 2017. Okay. 2017. Right. You could do another one. Okay. Well, here, I'll give you one. Okay. Old Navy Active Go, go Dry. <laughs> you dry fit, I'm sure it's leaning on. Um, size medium fitted. It's really pretty. Oh, it's supposed to be like the universe with moons and stars and little speckles of a metallic gold and then the back is open so nice breeze through your back when you work out this is an old navy it says the classic shirt and again it's uh sort of flannelly but it's very mm -hmm. soft yeah very soft pretty i want to see this one is from fall 2017 so two years old okay we're doing great all right this is a gap size eight skirt Oh, I like it. Very structured, very nice pockets. Yeah. 
very professional looking. Back to the skirt was like $50 by itself. I was trying to find, here we are. This is from the Holiday 2010 collection. So this one's about nine years old. Okay. We're so counting now? One, uh-huh. And I have two, nine, ten. Nine, ten. People out there is like, why does Bear always have only two couple things? He's he's lagging behind. No, you're opening well, and then I'm just like, oh, let me see that. Right? That's yes. that's not on you. You're doing a great job. Okay, next box. So we have opened one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we've opened more than that. I'm not I'm not doing my job well here. Oh, oh, nope, just on top. So there was no invoice in this one. So we are just going to have to deduce what this is. This is a North Crest, what I'm holding. Okay. Can't see the size though. Can you? It is in 1X. North Crest, I think 1X. All right. Fun color. Yeah, purple with a purple print. Mm -hmm. This has a little bit of a structure to it, don't you think? Like it's not a super soft. I'm yes. assuming it's cotton, but it's not like that like super soft cotton. It is cotton. Okay, we have to. We can't not reference Purple Rain by Prince. And I just saw again. I saw a thing just the other night on YouTube uh, that this guy was commissioned to write. A book about Prince, but he had cool. passed. He had passed over. But they talked about he passed, or he passed over the book. Like he said no to Prince the book is not alive anymore. No, I know that. Okay, that's what I meant. Prince oh, passed. Yes. Okay, so this guy still made a book, but okay. you know, there's always been talk of it. Paisley Park is the name of his place in Minnesota. Okay. Prince Prince is from Minnesota. Isn't that a weird place for a Very rock cool. star to be? No, I think um, it's cool. Well, it's cool, but it's odd. Yeah. And so anyways, so. it was always talk about the vault where he had all this material because he was so prolific writer. And that actually exists. And this guy said, if we were to in release like one set of musical item, we'd probably have enough for the next hundred years. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. This is Morona, which is Target. It is an orange slub knit t-shirt, a very soft cotton size large so now we had an extra large no a 1x and a large so i don't yet know what this box is this is called a Derek hart large and do you want to take that you seem to be no i was okay. just trying to help it's a t-shirt but then on the side there's like a corset lease in um and it doesn't expose anything there's a there's a layer underneath so even if you were to open that completely it doesn't expose anything so this is like a junior's top size large now we have two larges and a 1x let me see what mine is this is so so favorite v-neck size large so i'm guessing this is a large box and they might have just accidentally this is a nice feel to it. Well, this is a Banana Republic extra small. Yeah. So that would seem to be like a mix of things, right? A mix of things. Yeah. Okay. Could this be a t-shirt box? We'll have to see at the end. I have a DIY t-shirt box, 10 t-shirts in mixed sizing for $18. So maybe that's that. Okay. Morona. Oh, the same as the last one, but in pink. And did we talk about this? Oh, no. Okay. Banana Republic. Sorry, I jumped. That's right. <laughs> My fault. It has like a perfumish bottle on the front. Very soft. Yep. This is Massimo Long and Lean Large Teal. It looks like it's been washed, but not terribly bad condition. This is by Chico's. Again, not seeing a size. I don't the know. size one. Size so one. that's like a medium for them. Okay. It has the... Oh, I love it. Something, this. what do you call this sleeve? Mm, I can't remember. Cut out, oh, cold shoulder. Cold shoulder. Yeah. With like a flutter. This has like a slub knit to it, so it's throwing me off because I keep thinking it's like not clean or something, but it totally is. It's got a high-low, it's linen rayon. 
Interesting. Uh, Dan skin, loose. 2X, pink. I'm guessing these tops have a little bit of wear and so they put them in for like, you wanna tie dye these, you wanna make something your own. That's probably this category. This is an espresso, large. It has some beading on it. Or... Yeah, it does. Some ruching down both sides at the bottom. And this is a polyester blend. This does have a little bit of wash wear. We are counting. Seven. I have three. So we did get 10. So this must be the DIY t-shirts, 10 for $18 with free shipping. So $1.80 a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Again, if you do a lot of crafts or art in general, and you find yourself like get bleach marks on stuff or, you know, just for working around the house or painting, this might be a decent box. Even at the bins, this would have been a lot higher. Um, only a few of those might be able to be sold at like the five to $10 price point, but I want to try every box. Okay. We're going to need to get more boxes. Okay. Bring some more in. So I probably will be cutting this into sec different parts or sections like part one, part two, just because we have what 22 boxes. So, um, if this is the end of this video, thank you for watching. <laughs> if it's not. Continue to watch. We hope your day is blooming with joy.